Praise God, everybody. This is Old Truth Speaker again. And I believe that Happy New Year to all my friends. This is a short vid. And, you know, it's quite a, a uproar worldwide ever since the, um, from the marches in Ferguson to New York to all over the country and the world. Wow, it's been quite a year. I mean, quite a last few months. Have you noticed violence has intensified in reaction to violence all over the world? The will of God, or should I say, the word of God is alive and has never made a mistake yet. Wars and movements of war. Ever since and then the, the terrorist attack last week in Paris against uh, uh, well, it was directed against Charles, I believe the correct pronunciation of his name is Charles Habado. Habado? Forgive me if I'm, uh, not correct, not pronouncing it correctly. But the, the problem is, have you seen the response? Paris immediately retaliated and tracked down terrorists, a uh, fellow terrorist and sympathizes with these terrorists and they are still doing it now. In Belgium, matter of fact, in Germany, there were tens of thousands marching in the anti-terrorist protests. And while all this was going on, have you noticed, why didn't Obama, or any member of cabinet, call these people what they are, terrorists? Why didn't Obama, or any of the cabinet, or Biden, or Kerry, go over to represent the the Americans' interests, you know, American population, or to support them. There were 40 other world leaders that marched in Paris with 3 million, uh, uh, with 3 million, um, people of the, uh, citizens, so to speak. Why, why didn't Obama, why didn't he go over there? Instead of letting people more terrorists out of Gitmo. Why didn't he go over there? And another thing, have you noticed Terrorists have murdered the week before that over 2,000 Nigerians, and not a word was mentioned in the alphabet media or the major media outlet. Why, why is this? Some people say I'm not. <laughs> some people say that, I'm, that Obama's the Antichrist. I, I mean, that's your belief. That's you know, that's you know, that's not about this. The fact is, that you will never beat a bullet with an idea. That's an ideology. That's a religion. Do you understand it? You are not going to beat that. You, America has been fighting this for over 26 years and have not made any progress at all. And the Constitution is being shredded to bits, stepped on. And matter of fact, the, Constitu the first ten amendments of the Bill of Rights, I mean, a lot of you know that, right? Speaking of individual freedom, it, the Constitution has been compromised. Why, why do I say that? Just look. Your freedoms are being taken away from you. An American is more divided now than ever. You have whites who don't believe blacks, blacks who don't believe whites, and you have the police in the middle. Do you understand? Do you, do you understand? This is an agenda that's set forth. And another thing I want to tell you. Have you ever noticed America and its allies are always at war or, should I say, disagreement? with the nations that do not have a Rothschild bank. Have you noticed that? Is that strange? I'm not naming anything. I'm not trying to relate anything to ethnicity. I'm just saying America, or we are always at odds with the nations that do not have a Rothschild bank. Russia, China, Kim Jong-il. Huh? Shall I go on? But the recent up to and the attacks yesterday, the planned attack, with the arrest this young fellow who's going to bomb the capital. Of, of, do you understand that we are being torn apart from within? And the agenda is perfectly clear. Separate and destroy. This nation needs God like never before. Pray. Do you understand? Another thing. Watch who you elect to these people. A lot of people say it's too late. As long as you're breathing, it's never too late. But what we need to be doing is more praying. And get on God's side so God can get on our side. Do you understand that? God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's not his will that any should perish. God is not telling you to go out and butcher and murder people to serve him to go to some heavenly. Well, 
But this is about America is being destroyed. Do you understand that? Most of your politicians are in the pockets of big business groups, big businesses and special interest groups. Look at who you're sitting in. Do you know how many vacation days that um, how many times Congress go on vacation? Do you have you seen that? I mean just tell you 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 know this. How long their vacation are when they're taking? I'm not gonna go into that because this video. I just had to bring this up. Do you understand? And they're telling you the most part it's okay for you to make minimum wage when people are paying seven and eight and nine hundred dollars a rent for a one or two bedroom apartment, even in the worst communities. Do you understand that? And then they're sending your children and out my children over the fight against people that you're not winning anywhere. All you're doing is getting people maimed and killed. If they could have won, you didn't. You went over there looking for something, WMDs, and they did not exist. And you've been paying for it ever since. Even before then. Do you understand that? Do you understand we're electing people that are doing us more harm than good? And they're sacrificing your children because their children are safe. Do you know how much a congressman made? Boehner himself made over two, over a quarter of a million dollars a year. Do you understand that? Let's not go to, I'm not even talking about, uh, Reed, uh, uh, Mr. McMahon, he's gone. But you know, I'm, I'm not even talking about the rest of these. They're clowns. Most politicians are as full of crap as a constipated elephant. And all they want is those people, oil, natural resources. You don't see anybody going up. How many times did they mention about uh, Nigeria? Did you see all the bodies? Over 2,000 were lying down that the terrorists burned up. Some of them were burned alive. Do you understand? Why didn't Obama go over there and represent America? What is your theory? What do you, what do you say about it? Is it because he didn't want to offend his Muslim allies, well, some people say that's one thing. He didn't want to offend his Muslim uh, allies. He didn't want to be associated with the uh, negative press against the uh, against Islam, against Muslims. Have we What are your thoughts? I, I want to hear this because it's only going to get worse. You realize we're going to have a major military confrontation. You do realize that, don't you? Who is it that said, look toward the east, because that's where all our troubles be? Hmm? And this was said by a world leader over 70 years ago. But keep America in prayer. Pray for the brothers and saints. Keep on praying, because we really need it. God bless you, saints. And stay strong in Christ.